Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a 2016 Dodge Journey, and I'm gonna show you really quick how to replace the rear struts. All right, so before I go ahead and uh, jack it up and take the wheel off for the rear struts, looks like uh, in order to access the top uh, strut mount bolts, looks like we're gonna have to uh, take apart some stuff inside the uh, cargo area of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and uh, start doing that. All right, so with your back hatch open, looks like our uh, strut mount bolts are gonna be behind this whole panel here. Same with on the driver's side there. So I went ahead and put down the uh, back seats here, folded those down, and looks like probably gonna have to remove this panel here. And then looks like we got four bolts in here we may need to remove. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, pull this panel here. Um, I'm just gonna use a pry tool like this and hopefully it'll come up. So let's just see if we can get up under this. Might be able to just pull up on it actually. But yeah, just lightly pull up on it. You can see you got these little push-in tabs that it snaps into. And then it looks like in order to get this uh, little toolbox out, um, looks like this rear seat carpet is holding it down. So I look back in here and looks like you got some little uh, push-in tabs that are holding these on. And feels like there's a few on here. So let's go ahead and uh, start pulling those on each uh, seat. So again, with your pry tool, just try to get up underneath here carefully because you don't want to break these plastic tabs. So as you can see, it's just one of them Christmas tree style clips. Let's go ahead and do the other ones here. Now inside this little cargo box here, got these little plastic caps that are on top of these nuts here. Let's go ahead and pull those off. Then go ahead and grab yourself a 10 millimeter and let's pull those four nuts off. And then you should be able to just lift this whole thing out of here. Just like that. Now we need to get these uh, seats out of here. Um, but I think we'll take the bottom cushion off first. So go ahead and pull back on your seats, get them back upright. And then inside here, you can grab just a little pry bar and right in the middle, there's a little clip. So you just want to kind of pry up on it and it should snap out of there. Maybe. Let me just see if I can just lift up on it maybe. Looks like you can just lift up with your hand, actually. And once you get that propped up, you should be able to push down with your hand here and then kind of lift it out of here. Hopefully. And looks like we're getting caught on something. All right, so it looks like we're getting caught up on this little uh, hook here. Let me zoom in. You can see that metal strap goes around this black hook here. So I'm gonna go in there and then try to bring it out this way and then lift up. And then I'll go ahead and do the same for this side over here. Remove this, get it out of the way. Next, go ahead and grab a 18 millimeter. And let's remove these uh, front seat bolts. And then on the back side here, go ahead and fold your seat back down. And 
then let's go ahead and uh, remove these four. And then you should be able to just lift these out of here. All right, so I'm hoping that um, I can just pull this panel off without having to remove these two top ones, but I'm not sure yet. So looks like uh, right here at these uh, little hold down clips, um, looks like you can take, get under it with a flathead screwdriver. That kind of pops that open. And then there's a Phillips screwdriver uh, screw in there. So I'll do that to both of these. And then looks like for this cargo net, I think you can just turn this one and screw it. Pull that out. And then I, I tried doing this one and this one's not holding anything on. So I think that one will be okay. So let me go ahead and get these two out. And then towards the front of the panel here, take your screwdriver. It looks like you got a little, right here, pop this off. And then we got a Phillips screw right there as well. So now let's see if I can just maybe pull out on this and see what happens. All right guys, so it looks like I'm gonna have to remove these pieces here. Um, you might be able to get it out, but I just don't wanna take the chance of breaking any of this plastic uh, since it's pretty brittle. So it looks like um, right here, you get a flat head, get up under that, pull that off. And then, I'm not sure if you guys can see in there, but there's a Torx T15 screw that we need to pull off. And then let's see if we can just pull this off of here. Just kind of like that. And then it looks like we got kind of the same thing here. Looks like somebody's been in this one already. Let's see if we can get the flathead under there. So that one just, just like that. And then, kind of hard to see in there, but I think there's a Torx T15 in there as well. All right guys, so there is a Torx T15. Um, you just gotta go kind of at an angle there. Uh, so let's get this one out. Hopefully that's not gonna be a pain to get back in. Now it looks like we got another one here. And kind of hard to see, but another Torx T15 up there. All right guys, so actually that is gonna be a Torx T25. Not sure why Dodge decided to go with a different size on this one. So next we need to do the uh, seat belt here. And what you wanna do is just take a screwdriver, get up under there, use your other hand, just kinda pry. And that pops that cover off kinda up out of your way. And you may have to do the same on the other side here. And 
grab a Torx T45 and let's take that off. So now it looks like we may need to pull this off to get uh, this piece off up under here. Same with the other side. So to do this, just kind of get up underneath it and just kind of pull down on it. Same with this side. Just try not to break it. And then you got these clips that slide onto here. So now we should be able to get this out of here. tab here that came off looks like there's one back in there and let me get at a different angle here so it looks like there was a tab right in here as well so now over here on the passenger side looks like we need to remove this so this should just Pull up as well. There we go. Actually, I'll just leave it like that because we just need to get this opened up here. And then you can see there was a tab there, tab here. get back in the vehicle and see if we can pull this off all right now let's see if we can finally get this thing off pretty time consuming so it seems like i'm there's hooks up here or something i'm getting caught on So now with that cover out of the way, got this little rubber shield here. Underneath that, you can see we got our two uh, strut mounts right on top here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, driver's side off. Um, I'm not gonna record it because it looks like it's pretty much the same thing. Um, got your tab up here, same with your screws up there, um, and then the seat belt. And then looks like you got your hold downs there. Only difference on this one is looks like there's this little flashlight thing here, but that shouldn't affect it. It should just pull off. And then you also got your uh, 12 volt here, which there's probably a plug in for this on the back side. Same with maybe that flashlight. And then it looks like you got another cargo net here, but I don't think that's holding anything on. So it looks like I'll have to unscrew this one. So let me go ahead and get this panel off really quick. Oh, and then you also got your, this uh, little cover with the Phillips behind it as well. All right, guys, so as you can see, you got this one pretty much pulled off. Um, like I said, it's pretty much the same thing. I just wanna show you really quick here. So you do have two uh, connectors you need to disconnect. This one for the flashlight, you can just push in right here on this tab. And that pulls off. And then same thing on this one. Just push in. Yeah, let's see if I can get my other finger in here. You push in. And then that just unplugs from there. So next I'm gonna go ahead and jack it up. I'm just gonna go right onto the pinch well here and also put my jack stand there. Next, grab a 19 millimeter 
and your wheel lock key if you got one, and let's remove the wheel and tire. Next, go ahead and grab a 15 millimeter, and let's pull off these two uh, top nuts here from the inside. Next, let's go ahead and uh, remove this 18 millimeter nut. And then on the back side, grab a wrench. And that'll also be an 18 millimeter bolt there. Then go ahead and grab a mallet or something soft to hit out this bolt with. Get that part of the way through. And then go ahead and hold your strut here and pull that bolt out all the way. And that'll drop this down. And then you can pull your whole strut out of here. All right, guys. So since I didn't buy the whole uh, strut spring assembly, um, I'm going to have to reuse this spring. And um, so I went with the uh, Monroe 72896 OE Spectrum uh, struts for the rear. Um, so I went ahead and just mounted this in a vise here. And then rented this from advanced auto parts and it's just a strut spring compressor so let's go ahead and uh start compressing this spring all right so what you want to do is grab one of your spring compressors here you want to go on the bottom part of the spring and then try to get the other one on the top here push your pins in and then just kind of turn this clockwise to get this uh to start tightening up on here that grab your other one the same thing you just want to go uh, kind of on the opposite side here and then same thing get that tightened up About like that. And then go ahead and grab a 19 millimeter and we're gonna start tightening these uh, both evenly. So we'll do a little on this side and then come around and do the same on the opposite side here. Okay, that should be good because as you can see, the spring's pretty loose now and it's kind of away from that spot there. So now that our spring's compressed, we can go ahead and remove this 15 millimeter nut here. And of course, that's just turning on me. So let me get some uh, vice grips and I'll hold that while I take that off. So when that starts turning, just grab a pair of vice grips and then a 15 millimeter. Get that on there. Just to hold that and then you should be able to pull this off now. Pull that off on with your bushing, and then you can pull this whole, whole top off like that. And then go ahead and pop this off here. Off. 
remove your old strut here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab your new strut. And you can see there's a little tab on here. I had that pointing down on the last one. So let's go ahead and do the same for this one. Get that put in here. Just try not to damage your strut as you're tightening this in here. And then on your old one, go ahead and remove this rubber piece here. And you can see that's, that's that tab I was talking about. Go ahead and slide this over just like that and it was opposite of uh, this little tab here you can see where the bottom of the spring went so we'll just keep it kind of the same way it was go ahead and stick this back on there and you can see it says top slide that on your boot and everything and we'll just slide this back on over all that pretty much like that and then go ahead and grab the rest of your parts here this is going to go like that And then they do give you a new uh, 15 millimeter uh, nut to use. I'll go ahead and put that one on. And that one has a nylon lock on it. Then go ahead and grab a 17 millimeter because this new nut's going to be a 17 millimeter. And then again, along with your vice grips, just in case it starts turning. Let's go ahead and start tightening that up. It should be good about like that. So with that tight, let me go ahead and just turn this top here. That's how it was when we removed it before we tighten up that spring. Grab our 19 millimeter and then just make sure the bottom of the spring's there at the bottom. And then you can kind of see your top one's gonna be underneath here. Just make sure that's on that bushing there. And then let's go ahead and uh, start relieving the tension on the spring. So go ahead and just start loosening these evenly like we did before when we were tightening them. Then once you get them pretty well loose, you go ahead and pull your pins here. Go ahead and remove them. And then just double check. Make sure your springs are correct and that looks good. So let's go ahead and uh, put this back into the vehicle. All right, so go ahead and grab your new strut assembly. You wanna go to the bottom first and then bring it up to your top holes there. 
And then go ahead and grab your lower mounting bolt here. Get that through. You may have to bring bring that down some that control on. Try and get that bolt through. You may have to hit it. it on there and then we'll go up top and get those nuts on really quick next let's go ahead and get these on and you just reuse the same ones they didn't include new ones All right, so with your torque wrench, you're gonna to wanna to torque these to 33 foot-pounds. And then go ahead and uh, torque your lower one to 74 foot-pounds. All right, guys, so that's all there is to it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the driver's side really quick. I'm not gonna record that because it should be the same exact procedure. Um, if there's any differences, I'll let you know. And then we'll uh, put the interior body panels back on. All right, guys. So as you can see, you got the other side done and on. It's exactly the same as the uh, passenger side. No differences. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of later out. But I uh, was doing two videos at once. Um, so this side here, if you guys are interested, check out the other video. But I had to replace the um, axle shaft seal for the rear differential. It was leaking pretty good on this. So I replaced that uh, axle seal. So if you guys are interested, check out that video. But um, so now I'll go ahead and uh, get the wheels and tires back on and we'll start putting the uh, plastic interior parts back on. Next, go ahead and uh, get your wheel and tire back on. And then go ahead and uh, torque those to 100 foot pounds. So now we should be ready to get our uh, <clears throat> panel put back in place. So I'll go ahead and videotape the uh, driver's side this time on the install. And you just want to make sure you get your seatbelt underneath this part here. And then same thing here, get your seat belt on this side of it. And then let's go ahead and uh, connect our connectors here. And then the one for your flashlight here. It's gonna go like that. And then what you want to do is get it kind of in place and then just look back here you can see like right here you want to make sure that's going to line up down in there um, and then these top ones you should be able to just kind of push on them and they'll snap in like that And you can see by the door here, got a clip here, and then one down here as well. So let's see if we can get those kind of lined up. And then you shouldn't just be able to hit. That should be secure. And then you want to come along and just take your weather stripping seal and just make sure this is on the outside 
of the uh, trim piece here. So just kind of pull it back if you can. Kind of like that. And now let's take this piece here. Same thing, but this piece, this will go uh, over the weather stripping here on this one. And then you got, let me straighten that out. And then you can see you got three snaps. So let's go ahead and snap that in. Just like that. Next we'll go ahead and do this upper panel here. So you got a couple snaps. We're snapping to there. And then on the back side here. This on. Then you go ahead and put your uh, seat belt back on. And this bolt did have some uh, blue thread locker on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on there. Go ahead and screw that in. Torx T45 and we'll tighten that up. Go ahead and uh, slip your cover back over. Grab your T25 screw, and we'll screw that in. Then grab your Torx T15 and screw that one in. And go ahead and put your covers on. Next, let's go ahead and do this panel here. Bring it up. this one back in like that grab your Torx T15 screw and let's go ahead and put that one in cover actually I'll go in from the bottom and then the top then go ahead and grab your Phillips screw for the front part of the panel here and then get your cover and we'll snap that in Securing hooks here with the Phillips and tighten those up. And then your uh, cargo net screw, just go ahead and screw that in there. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for that panel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, passenger side on really quick. I won't film that, and then I'll come back and we'll get the rest uh, put back together. All right, so I got that panel all put back on. So now let's go ahead and uh, put this top piece back on really quick. And as you can see on this piece, you got a snap-in clip right here, and then these pieces here, you're going to want to slide on. So they just kind of 
slide onto there like that. And then same with this one. Just kind of bring it down. And turn it a little bit. Just slides on there like that and then just go ahead and snap that in make sure the weather stripping's over, over that so next we'll go ahead and grab the seats This end's going to be the nut. And your bolt hole here. Grab your 18 millimeter and let's tighten those up. And go ahead and bring your seats back up. And let's get the front mounting bolts in. So same thing, get the bolts in. And actually guys, um, I gotta pull the two end bolts. I forgot to, um, we need to attach the seat belt here. And grab your seat cushion. Get your seat belts out of the way here. And then remember there's a hook back here on each side that you gotta get behind. So you gotta kind of lift and push. That latches. You do the other side. Same thing on this side. You get that latch back there you got your two hooks down here just get them in place and then just hit and it'll snap into place next go ahead and uh, fold down your seats again Just verify you can see that the uh, seat is behind this hook here and same on your other one sitting behind this uh, black piece here you can go ahead and grab your little tool tray thing here get those studs lined up Then you can go ahead and close that up and let's go ahead and uh, attach these carpet pieces here. So just go ahead and uh, snap these clips back in. Then lastly, let's go ahead and put this trim piece on here. And to do that, I think you gotta open that. And then this lip here needs to slide up under this. Again, try to get this weather stripping up underneath. All right, so that's going to do it for the video. Uh, Dodge does not make it easy to get to the uh, top rear strut mounting bolts on these Dodge journeys. 
Uh, so hopefully this video helps you out. Again, this was a 2016 Dodge Journey. Went ahead and replaced the rear struts on it. This video did take longer because I was doing two videos at once. Um, was also replacing the driver's side rear differential axle seal that was leaking on this vehicle. So if you guys are interested, check that video out. Uh, and always subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. Got a bunch on this car alone. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.